Welcome back to Awkward Hamster. In my last video, I did the unboxing of this new iPad, the third generation one from Apple. And now, as promised, I'm going to do a how-to video on how to install the Zag Invisible Shield to this new iPad. And some of the things that you need is it's always good to have a paper towel nearby just to soak up any of the, any of the moisture. And let's open up the Zag product right now. Let's see what it comes with. Here we have the invisible shield. It came with one of the invisible shield, the front screen. And here's the applicators. This is the application solution. Let me just cut all these open. Make sure there's nothing else in here that I need. So this is the application solution. Let's see, it says don't spray in eyes, don't swallow. Okay, and here's the application squeegee, a cloth to get rid of the uh, dust and the, any of the lint that's on your iPad, and the installation instructions, which is a very small print, but I've already, I've, I've, Installed this before, so I'm quite familiar with it. There's no, re there's no need for me to read this over again. So the first thing to do, of course, is to clean the product. And when I do that, best we clean it, power it down. All right, now I just power down my new iPad. And I'm going to make sure the screen is clean of any lint, dust, fingerprints. And just take a moment to clean this. And here's the screen. And before I actually remove this, the screen protector, and put it placed on here. I'm going to spray the solution on my hands for a bit. Let me just make sure it's clean one more time. The reason I say spray up spray on my hands is because I don't want it to uh, my hand to stick or cause any prints on the protector. Let me just go ahead and remove this piece. And here's the main unit. Stuck on pretty well. Be generous with the spray because the last thing you want is fingerprints to uh, stick on this or any other smudgers or something because it will be much more difficult to remove it later on. So now I'm just going to spray down this screen protector. And now I'm going to try to align it with this product here. I always find it easiest to start aligning it. 
with the the ports because there's a cutout for the camera and then another cutout for the home button over here. Right now it looks like there's a lot of errors, air bubbles in there, but that's what a squeegee's for. I like to, uh, to uh, spray the top surface also, just so that the squeegee runs against this more smoothly. And this is the part where I use the paper towel on the sides to absorb any of the excess moisture. And when I squeegee, I, I like to, I prefer to squeegee outwards. Start from the middle and squeegee outward. For example, right now there's a couple of air bubble pockets here, pretty stubborn air pockets. For those, I just put a little bit more force, squeeze them out. Same goes for the air pockets on any side. Okay, let's say I'm done. Right now, right after the first application, it's not possible to get all the air bubbles out, but somehow the air bubbles will disappear after a couple of days, so don't worry about it. You're, you're still going to see a little bit of air bubbles. And I say just wait a couple of days because they will make their way out to the sides and eventually disappear. Looks great. Feels great. Rubbery. And power back up. It's wonderful, it's a great screen. It's still very responsive to my touch. I, I, see no, I foresee no problems using this product. But there is something that is different than the, uh, the previous screen protectors I purchased from Zag. The difference is over here. They now pr uh, print their logo over here. It's I just don't appreciate it. I I don't know. It's, I the previous the older screen pr protectors like the ones with the iPad ones, it was just pure screen protector, no advertisements, nothing. If Zag did not include this, I'll give this 5 out of 5 stars, but just for this this part, it just ruins the look of the this, uh, the white frame. In that case, I'll just give it a 4 out of 5 stars. There is, I do see, there is some little bit of a, like a rainbow effect on here, but it's not as bad as many of the other screen protectors. And the thing with the Zag is that whenever you purchase a Zag product, you're always paying a little bit of uh, premium. Just the front screen protector, it ranges from 25 to $30. And you need to essentially wait or shop online for coupons. 
Uh, sometimes they have the twenty percent off coupons, and about a couple times a year they do have fifty percent fifty percent off coupons for their screen protectors. Well, it's I say don't worry about the the, the squeegee and the water. This scares some people off. There's no reason to go to your mall kiosk and uh, pay someone to do it. They, I think they even charge up to a hundred dollars to supply a screen protector for you. You buy a screen protector for thirty dollars and charge charge another seventy five to hundred dollars to to apply, apply it. That's crazy. As I showed you, it's very easy. It took five minutes, probably a little over five minutes, just because I want to make sure I get all the, all the bubbles out. And uh, it's it's a great way to protect your screen from scratches or if you leave this in your backpack and you have other pens rubbing against it, you don't, you don't need to worry about scratching your screen. Well, thanks for watching this how-to video on Okra Hamster. Feel free to send me any questions, comments, suggestions. Have a nice day. Bye.